What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Today we're going to be going over an automation tutorial. <laughs> What's up everybody, this is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Today we're going to be taking a quick look at automation. It is an often requested topic and I never really took time to go over it because man, it's like really easy to do in Studio One. Um, I think that some of you guys that are having a bit of problems with it um, are used to coming from other DAWs where this is like really complicated. So let me just... Um, get past all that and show you what I got going on. I'm working on a tutorial for um, studio1tutorials.com and um, this is this is part of the track that I'm on. All right, so what I've got going on is I've got Looperator going um, triggered on this audio track, on my sample track right here, right? And the thing is, is I only want to use this effect on um, on these 16 bars right here on on 17 through, through 33. So when I have an effect like this that I only want to use in a certain section, obviously I'm going to automate it. Now, the thing about Studio One and the reason why uh, one of the main reasons why I love this, uh, this program is just how easy it is to automate any per given parameter inside of a um, inside of a plugin. So let me just show you real quick how I achieve something like that. If, if you open up any, the plugin that you wanna automate, right? If you, if you open it up, you look at this bottom corner, um, it'll, it'll say auto off. Auto is short for, you guessed it, automation, right? So you go here and when you click on that, and I mean, man, don't be afraid to click on this DAW, dude. Like you're not, you're not gonna blow up your, your computer. Like this is how you learn stuff. So you got your regular basic um, automation functions, read, touch, latch, and write. And then you have the mother load right here, add and remove parameters. So when you click this, it's going to bring up a menu and it's gonna tell you one, the name of the plugin that you're automating, it's going to give you the MIDI options that you can go ahead and mess with. And this is on a given um, controller. So you have your, so you have your MIDI controller and the channels that you can um, mess with, but that's a, that's a little advanced for this tutorial. Um, all of these parameters are parameters inside the tutorial inside the plugin so all of these things you can draw an automation lane for now me all i want to do is i want to is i want to turn the entire plugin off and on at my will and the way that i'm going to do that is i'm going to use bypass that's the easiest way if you want to turn a plugin off and on you you pick bypass now if you notice here on this second set i already have a, a track you see where this is named filter if you look down here i already have an automation lane on another um plugin so what i want to do is i want to make sure that i hit this little plus sign and that's going to break you see how this says track 18 and it added me another track this is an automation track right so i'm going to go ahead and stick with that track 18 now i'm going to highlight bypass and click add and now you see how this changed over here so now that I've done that, I'm going to click close. I will name this sample stutter because that's what I'm controlling. It's very important for you to name your tracks. Now, just so you can see what's going on, when I press play. All right, so the plugin is still working. So if I want to turn it off, all I have to do is zoom in on the lane. When that turns to a finger, just click click another point, click and drag up, click and drag up. And now when the line is all the way at the top of the lane, we should have the plugin bypass. See, that's exactly what I want. So 
now that I've got that done, when I listen to it in context, I have my, I have my verse. see how there it turns off so um and the and that is that's how that's how you automate any parameter with inside inside studio one it is literally the easiest thing to do um in this DAW, besides moving a fader up and down to turn the volume up like they they have made that process so damn simple that i think it i think it throws a lot of you guys for a loop so hopefully i clear that up and another thing is um because i know somebody's gonna ask is this the um, bypass i refer to that as like a digital function meaning like when you think digital you think of binary a one and a zero you only have two options off and on okay um and then there's and then there's analog functions which which are like values that could go from zero to a hundred something like volume or pan or something like that so if you say for example you wanted to um automate something on this audio track which is a different experience than a midi track all you have to do is press a okay and a is going to bring up your automation lane you see you see how this track changes like this this is how it's in regular mode when you press a this brings up your automation options click on this and if it's an audio track um like a vocal or a guitar or anything that's recorded in audio it's already going to have volume pan and mute pre-mapped to it so say i wanted to to work on the pan or the volume for example here let's 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 go with pan pan is pan is going to put you dead center that's where your pan pot is and then if you if you click and drag and you raise it up to the top that's the left if you drag it to the bottom that's the right and you can see um you could see that when you drag the button now what i mean by an analog value is this can go from zero to 100 left and then from 100 left down to 100 right you have the you have it's not just the off and on thing so when we listen to it dealing with pan you got to bring it back to center this little this little guy right here if you click and hold on it you can um make your make your curves as drastic or as slight as you want So again, you know, really easy, super simple. I think a lot of people overcomplicate it. And just remember to that point, keep it simple. Don't be basic. This is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions. If you want to see the full ver version of this tutorial and many other amazing tutorials like this, stop by studio1tutorials.com and get your subscription today. And we will see you on the next one.